Okay, a couple weeks ago I mentioned about the possibility that I'm working on trying to get a hold of a five gallon bucket to basically use as a chow bucket. Well, if you get a bucket, you want to get one that is a earth tone type color. So you want green, brown, or black or camouflage pattern. Um, with the bucket, it needs to be food grade. Make sure that it is food grade. Make sure that if it is a used bucket, it has not been used with any chemicals like paints or solvents. This is a bucket I got at a uh, farm and fleet type store. Uh, fairly cheap when I looked online when I was finding uh, just straight black buckets or green buckets They were asking like 20 30 bucks a piece the cheapest was like 14 This one I got for less than seven bucks They only had a few of them left in their hunting section. It was on their clearance to clear out for stuff for later this year You're gonna want to put a sealable gasketed lid on it like this gamma seal which will be easy screw on screw off in the field make sure that it is seated properly on the bucket gamma seal lids work for three to seven gallon buckets line your bucket with a mylar bag this is additional protection for the stuff that you have inside additional protection from uh, bugs and so forth if you want to go the route of sealing the bag for long-term caching and that stuff, go ahead. Now, whatever you put inside, protect against moisture. You're trying to be extra cautious or extra paranoid on this stuff. What I fit inside this bucket so far, 10 pounds of white flour in two five-pound bags, which go on the bottom. A four pound bag of white sugar. This was request by the unit cook so that he has uh, more options in his uh, recipes that he can do out in the field back at uh, base camp. A two pound bag of brown sugar. This is meant for use with beans for making baked beans out in the field. Salt. Try to get primarily plain salt so that you can use it for preserving meats also for salting and then if you have extra space left over I was able to slip in one bag one uh, pound and a quarter bag of uh, bean soup mix and two one pound bags of lentils I'm gonna try as when I repack this I'm gonna try to fit in some more one pound bags probably of uh, split peas in there also uh, these will probably end up getting put inside Ziploc bags as will this and probably these also. The uh, Ziploc bags can be reused as long as you don't mess them up. And also remember to include Ziploc bags large enough that will hold these items also. Because once you uh, break, cut open these vacuum sealed bags, it, the protection level is going to go down considerably. Remember, it's not just crossing water, crossing rivers, creeks, lakes, streams, whatever. You also have the possibility that you need to prepare or protect against rain or extremely moist environments because it's extremely humid out. But uh, this is something you could include inside your caches, on your game carts. I wouldn't recommend strapping this to a rucksack because it'll be heavy as hell. And I wouldn't recommend carrying it with you. This is a logistics thing for if you had the ability to transport bulk supplies or additional supplies. Uh, since it's worked out putting this one together, I'm actually going to try getting a few more thrown together. And I will vary the contents. Some of them, it might be a one, one uh, five pound peg of flour and say three or four bags of rice and um, another one might be you know two canisters of plain uh, salt and one canister of iodized vary what you put in it according to your needs and your uh, particular palate for your area 
Just another option for your, for your logistics for supplying food out in the field to uh, help out your mess teams. Now for all my engineer brothers in the Patriot Militia movements, always remember, essay